Learners, welcome to the NIS studio. In the senior secondary course biology paper, lesson 14, respiration and elimination of nitrogenous waste, part 2nd. Welcome back. In this chapter, we will explore human excretory system, their functions, ultrafiltration, and describe how urine is formed in the humans, the normal and abnormal components of urine, the mechanism of osmoregulation, and its regulation by ADH. The objectives of this part are human excretory system and its function, ultrafiltration and urine formation in humans, normal and abnormal components of urine, osmoregulation and its regulation by ADH. The excretory organs in humans include mainly a pair of kidneys, a pair of ureters, a urinary bladder and urethra. Kidneys are basically bean shaped organs located on either side of vertebral column in the lower abdominal cavity. On the concave median margin of each kidney, there is a notch called helium, which leads into funnel shaped space called renal pelvis. Kidneys filter metabolic waste from the blood and excrete them as a liquid called urine. As kidneys form uh, the urine, they also maintain the normal composition of blood fluid and salts balance throughout the body tissues. Urine formed in the kidneys is brought to the urinary bladder by two hollow muscular tubes called ureters. The urethra is the small tube that leads urine to the outside of the body. From urinary bladder, urine is passed outside via urethra. During the urination, widening of urinary bladder is called as micturation. The renal pelvis is surrounded by an outer layer of tissue called renal cortex and an inner layer of tissue called renal medulla. The, as far as the structure of kidney is concerned, the microscopic structure of kidney includes a large number of minute tubular structures called nephrons that are located partly in the renal cortex and partly in the renal medulla. They form urine and drain it ultimately into the pelvis of the kidney from where the ureters transport the urine to the urinary bladder. Nephrons are the structural and functional units of kidney associated with blood vessels and capillaries. There are about 1 million nephrons in each kidney with filters are about 180 liters of fluid per day, most of which is reabsorbed. Each nephron can be divided into two regions. One is proximal nephron and second is loop of Henle. The structural and functional components of the nephron are as included. First, the renal corpuscle which is composed of cup-shaped Bowman's capsule and a tuft of capillaries called glomerulus. The glomerulus receives the blood from the branch of renal artery and next proximal convoluted tubule which is also abbreviated as PCT. The descending lip of loop of Henle, the ascending lip of loop of Henle, distal convoluted tubule that is DCT plant collecting ducts of all the nephrons join and ultimately form the renal pelvis in form where the ureter end rises. The peritubular blood capillaries passing over the tubules join and form the renal vein. The process of formation of urine. Uh, which carried out in nephrons uh, base, uh, and also associated with osmoregulation involves three basic steps. One is ultrafiltration, tubular, second is tubular secretion and selective reabsorption. In ultrafiltration, each glomerular capillary receives blood flowing under e high pressure through a branch of renal artery. There is a continuous process of ultrafiltration which is called as filtration under pressure. All small molecules like water, glucose, minerals, amino acids, urea and uric acid are filtered out of the blood plasma into the Bowman's capsule through the capillary walls. Proteins remain in the glomerular blood, thus a protein free filtrate is collected in the lumen of the Bowman's capsule. The hydrostatic pressure of the circulating blood provides the necessary pressure for the purpose of filtration. The selective reabsorption or tubular reabsorption 
as the glomerular filtrate flows through the tubules, several substances useful to the body, such as glucose and amino acids and mineral ions needed to maintain the water and salt balance, are reabsorbed through the walls of the renal tubule. The blood capillary passing over the nephrons absorb these substances. As far as the selective reabsorption of tubular and re uh, tubular reabsorption is concerned, about 65 to 85 percent of the filtrate is reabsorbed in the proximal convoluted tubule that is PCT. It includes water, glucose, amino acids and salts and about 5 percent of water is reabsorbed in the descending limb. Remember, Water is the most essential element that is present in our body which is required for the vital functioning of our body. That is why this concept of reabsorption is selectively very important in case of the functioning of the kidney. The ascending limb is impermeable to water, hence only salts are reabsorbed here. In distal convoluted tubule that is DCT and collecting duct, sodium is reabsorbed under the influence of the hormone aldosterone which is secreted by the adrenal cortex. Water is absorbed under the influence of ADH that is antidiuretic hormone secreted by the posterior pituitary, the master gland. As far as the tubular secretion is concerned, cells of the renal tubule also directly secrete certain unwanted substance from the blood into the filtrate. These include uric acid, potassium ions and ammonia. Now, the filtrate is known as the urine. The urine so far formed is stored. This uh, urine passes into the urinary bladder via ureters and is stored there. The bladder can hold up to 400 to 500 uh, the centimeter volume of the water, the urine. When about uh, 200 centimeter uh, cubic centimeter or more urine gets collected in the urinary bladder. The stretch receptors are stimulated leading to the desire to discharge the urine. The composition of urine can be explored in the form of normal composition and the abnormal composition. In case of normal composition, it should contain water, urea, uric acid, creatine, ammonia, sodium chloride, potassium chloride, magnesium, phosphate, sulfate and uh, minute amounts of fatty acids, amino acids, pigments, uh, myosin, enzymes, hormones, vitamins and of course the antibiotics which are there in the body during the uh, treatment sort of thing. But the quantity may vary depending upon the uh, physiological condition. Whereas the abnormal components include glucose which the, is the symptom of diabetes mellitus, the proteins which is the symptom of a kidney disease acetones which is the symptom again a symptom of diabetes mellitus or starvation, the erythrocytes which is the infection in urinary system, the leukocytes large number of indicate infection in the urinary system whereas the uric acid crystals uh, represent the presence of gout. In this graphic we have explored the proper functioning mechanism and reabsorption area in the middle of the area which is called as glomerulus part which provides the proper majority of surface area which is used by the uh, Bowman's capsule for the absorption and the reabsorption activities. Here th there is a network of efferent arteriole and JGA which is the res uh, mainly responsible for the formation and uh, discharge of urine in the necessary chambers. So far in this part we have explored the human excretory system which is consist of a pair of kidneys, a pair of ureters, a urinary bladder and a urethra. Nephrons are the filtering units of the kidney. Urine formation by nephrons has three major steps. First, ultrafiltration, second, reabsorption and the final, tubular secretion. Urine consists of water, urea, unwanted salts and some drugs as well. Learners, thanks for uh, patience learning in the part second of the chapter 14 of excretion.